An impressive engineering feat of the 1940s is now an essential part of rail transport on the east coast of Australia, with thousands of general freight, grain and passenger services passing through the Bethunga Spiral on the standard gauge main southern line between Melbourne and Sydney each year. Rail spirals are an intelligent way to get trains over steep hills at a lesser gradient, with the track steadily climbing and curving until it has completed a loop passing over itself at a greater height by either a tunnel or bridge. As seen here with the Bethunga spiral consisting of two tunnels, one of which allows the southbound track to cross over the northbound track prior to the spiral, with the northbound track using the second tunnel to create the spiral and pass back over itself. A bridge is also placed to the north of the spiral to allow the northbound track to retake its correct placement on the left hand side of the corridor in the direction of travel. Rail fanning here can be hit and miss, with most freight services operating during the darkness of night. However, the heritage listed spiral is set up for easy viewing by the public, with a platform at the exit of Tunnel 2 allowing for trains to be seen twice as they climb the spiral. Usually SCT Logistics hauls some of Australia's largest intermodal trains. However, on this occasion, 2MB9 from Melbourne to Brisbane is fairly short and only operated by locomotive SCT-010. With CSR-016 shut down and along for the ride. With flooding across the Broken Hill Line, some trains were diverted and sent the long way via Victoria. As seen here with Pacific National Steel Train 2YN2 from the Wyala Steelworks in South Australia, climbing the lower level of the spiral bound for Newcastle.
Heavy dynamic braking is required for down southbound trains with the track using the existing 1 in 40 alignment from before the spirals construction. With Pacific National Intermodal 3SP4 seen heading down the steep section from the skies. The following day, not long after sunrise, the rare sight of the Indian Pacific in southern New South Wales is captured, with locomotives NR29 and NR28 leading the charge as the train climbs throughout the spiral northbound, running as 3AS8 to Goulburn. 